A piano keyboard is about 250 cubic inches of possibility. That's the surface area of the tops of all the black and white keys times the key depth. Your piano technique means having control over where and how you play each key so that you get the sound you want in a way that sends you to the next key you want to play at the right time and with the right sound. That requires a great deal of precision. Creating the circumstances that allow for that amount of precision requires physical organization for your whole body, starting with the way you sit when you're playing. I'm not talking about posture, because posture is static and rigid. So if people have told you to sit up straight or don't slouch, that's as likely to introduce unnecessary tension as it is to be helpful. Some amount of tension is necessary for us to stay upright and function but we want to keep it at what's necessary and not go over that. So what I'm talking about here isn't posture, it's balance and readiness for movement. That starts with how you're sitting. There are a few things we need to go over here, and if these are out of whack, other aspects of playing will be harder. And we don't want things to be harder, we want things to be easier. First, you'll need to check your distance from the keys. The way you do that is you'll make a fist with both hands and if your arms are both held straight out this flat part of your fingers should just make it to the fall board that's the piece of wood right behind the piano keys or if you're on a keyboard you should just make it to this area right here at the above the backs of the keys so that tells you where your shoulder joints should be from that you can figure out where your butt should be, because your sit bones should be vertically right under your shoulder joints. Your sit bones are these protuberances on the bottom of your pelvis. So you need to position your bench frontwards or backwards so that you're sitting on the front half of the bench. If you're sitting on the whole bench, you'll lose some mobility and balance. When you're playing, you'll need to check in with your body from time to time about your back. Sometimes it might collapse into a letter C shape, and that's going to make it harder to deliver weight forward where the piano is. The other extreme is just as unhelpful where your back is hyperextended. So just keep your shoulder joints vertically above your sit bones, and you'll be good. Once you've got the bench set, front to back, you'll need to adjust the bench height. First, let's have your elbows hanging freely at your side. So you're not holding them up from your shoulders and you're also not holding them out to the side. They're just hanging freely and you can feel gravity in your elbows. Now, when you're playing, the tips of your elbows should be level with the tops of the keys. This can be hard to see from your own perspective, so you might want to have someone check it for you. Remember that your elbows should be hanging freely, not held out or pulled up. You want to feel gravity in your elbows and be able to move freely from your shoulders as well as your elbows. Benches are often too low, so you may need either an adjustable bench that goes high enough to get you to the right height, or you can put carpet squares or furniture risers under each bench leg to bring it to the proper height. You might find that after you've got your height adjusted properly, your distance from the keys is no longer optimal. That's okay. You will probably need to go back and forth checking bench distance from the keys and height in order to find the proper arrangement. Once you've got the bench set where you need it, you'll need to check that your feet are both reaching the floor in front of you with weight on them. It's very common that they won't. For kids, they definitely won't, but even for some adults, they may not. If your feet don't reach the floor in front of you with weight on them, you'll need some kind of adjustable piano foot support or a pedal extender if you're going to be using the pedals. Now we're going to continue moving from big body organization 
towards your fingertips. And the next thing we need to talk about is forearms because your fingers need to be precisely located to play on a key and it's your, and it's your forearms that will get them in the right area for whatever you want to play. Your forearms are capable of four movements you need to know about. 